Welcome back to my channel. Let's see how long these uneven but highly nostalgic struggle buns will last. If you hear any noise in the background, that's either the dogs or the people I live with. You guys, oh my gosh, the day has finally come and I am so excited to announce the throwback-a-thon. Yes, yes. Take it back, take it back, take it back, take it back. Take it, take it, take it back. Now, <laughs> now my book club, A Seat at the Table book club, my girls and I, Troy, Nicole, and Brittany are hosting this readathon, and we are so hyped, we are so excited, we are so ready. It all started on, I think it was July's live show. We were all chatting, so for those of you who joined us on that live, thank you so much, but we were all chatting, and we all just realized how much we miss the good old days and our childhood books and our favorites and basically the gateway books into our reading experience and the books that we will always remember, always cherish, never forget. And that's where we came up for the idea for this readathon. Everybody was on board. Everybody was super excited and super hype and couldn't wait. So here it is, our official announcement video. I will talk to you guys about the dates and also the prompts. So stay tuned. So, Throwback-a-thon 2019 is officially running from September 15th through September 29th. We wanted to do two full weeks because we understand. Y'all got jobs, homes, children, mouths to feed. And you know, we don't want you to feel pressured to try to do everything and accomplish everything in one week. So, voila, you get two weeks. You're welcome. Are you ready for your reading prompts? Hey, are you ready for your reading prompts? Hey, are you ready for your reading prompts? I'm ready. All right, so read and prompt number one, back at one. Read a book from your favorite kid series outside, outside, don't be slick, outside of Harry Potter and the Percy Jackson series. Sorry, you don't get to cop out with those, but yes. So go back, think about when you were a kid, think about that favorite kid book series that just, oh, you just loved and you could not wait for the books to come out or you, maybe you discovered them when all the books will come out, like Boxcar Children, Babysitter's Club, American Girl Dolls, Goosebumps, so many to choose from. Number two, mo money, mo problems. Am I right? Am I right? I'm right. 
Read one of your favorite books you bought from the Scholastic Book Fair. Do you guys remember the Scholastic Book Fair? It was the highlight of my childhood. So go back, go back to that magical place, go back in those memories, and remember one of the favorite books that you bought from the book fair, and read that. Prompt number three, always be my baby. Read a childhood book you still own for all of the memories it brings you. Mm! Oh my gosh, I have so many I have to choose from for this one. Ooh, the possibilities are endless. Oh my gosh, oh, so many good ones, I can't. Prompt number four. Hey baby, one more time. I lost my voice there on that first word. Redo. Hit me baby, one more time. Do you guys remember that iconic video? Because I think we all do. but read a book you hated reading as a child. Think back to those <laughs> just horrible, like book assignments, you know, where you had to read a book for class and stand in front of everybody and give a book report and you hated the book, but you still did it anyway because grades, am I right? Prompt number five is my personal favorite. Shout out to the queen, Whitney Houston. I will always love you. Read a book that made you fall in love with reading. When I think about this, ah, oh, there's so many different books that at different points in my reading life, my reading story, my reading journey, if you will, that made me fall in love with reading for different reasons. There's that very first book that really made me realize that this, this was for me, this was it. And then there are the books that I read later on, you know, the milestone books, like the first chapter book, the first really long book, the first over 200 page book, the first book that really made me start to think and realize who I am and my humanity and my, my capacity for empathy and compassion and the first book that introduced me to bigger topics outside of myself, outside of my life. Oh, so many, so many choices for this one. And last but not least, prompt number six. The boy is mine. Okay. The boy is mine, the boy is mine, the boy is mine, the boy is mine. Read the book where you first fell in love with a fictional character. We all have that book. We all have that one book that just made us realize, dang, I wish this person was real. <sighs> that was where the book boyfriends began, you know? So there you have it, you guys. Those are all the prompts. Now, how excited are you to join us from September 15th through the 29th for the Throwbackathon? I am so ready. I'm so ready that I put my hair in these face buns for you guys. And I cannot wait. We are gonna be doing lots of fun things. We have daily IG props going on on our IG page. Go follow A Seat at the Table on Instagram. I also link my personal, um, not my personal Instagram, but I will also link my bookstagram down below. But yeah, if you wanna keep up with us and what we're reading daily, and if you wanna more importantly share um, in what you're reading, share your TBR. Um, if you wanna share like you participating in our dot, uh, dot, 
daily <laughs> Instagram prompts, then definitely want to follow the A Seat at the Table Book Club Instagram page. That will be linked below if you just search us A Seat at the Table Book Club. It's very simple, very straightforward. And you can kind of follow us along so that we can all do this together. It's getting to be fall time, warm and cozy on nostalgia season. So I think this is the perfect way to pretty much just set off the fall season and think back to the good old days of when we started reading, when we fell in love with reading, and all those childhood favorites that we will love forever. So definitely join the girls and I on this readathon. We are so hyped and we cannot wait. And yeah, definitely share your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like this video, give it a like, give it a comment if you wanna chat to me about your feelings, your thoughts, what your TBR is gonna be, what you're thinking. <sighs> I have so many books to choose from. I really need to sit down and think about this because I gotta be strategic about this. It's gotta be the perfect book for each prompt. But yeah, I will catch you guys in my next video. Oh, I cannot wait. Mwah. Bye guys.